called the president. You said he was feeling cranky that day, right? He seemed very cranky to me. I just said, what do you want from Ukraine? I may have even used a four-letter word. And he said, I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. I just want Zelensky to do the right thing, to do what he ran on, or, or words to that effect. I want nothing. I want nothing. I want no quid pro quo. Tell Zelensky to do the right thing. Then he says, this is the final word from the president of the United States. I want nothing. Thank you, folks. Have a good time. I'm going to that. Campaign was a basic quid pro quo. Uh, it was the conditioning of official acts for something of great value to the president. These political investigations, it goes right to the heart of the issue of bribery. Uh, for those of you watching at home, uh, that was not a bathroom break. That was actually a chance for the Democrats to go out and hold a press conference. Uh, ambassador for all the supposed bombshells that, was, that were in your opening testimony. I was adamantly opposed to any suspension of aid. I was adamantly, adamantly opposed to any suspension of aid, as the Ukrainians needed those funds to fight against Russian aggression. I tried diligently to ask why the aid was suspended, but I never received a clear answer. Still haven't to this day. In the absence of any credible explanation for the suspension of aid, I later came to believe that the resumption of security aid would not occur until there was a public statement from Ukraine committing to the investigations of the 2016 elections and Burisma, as Mr. Giuliani had demanded. If you pull up CNN today, right now their banner says Sondland ties Trump to withholding aid. Is that your testimony today, Mr. Ambassador Sondland, that you have evidence that Donald Trump tied the investigations to the aid? Because I don't think you're saying that. I've said repeatedly, Congressman, I was presuming. I also said that President Trump... So no one told you, not just the President. Giuliani didn't tell you, Mulvaney didn't tell you, nobody, Pompeo didn't tell you, nobody else on this planet told you that Donald Trump was tying aid to these investigations. Is that correct? I think I already testified. No, answer the question. Is it correct? No one on this planet told you that Donald Trump was tying this aid to the investigations? Because if your answer is yes, then the chairman's wrong and the headline on CNN is wrong. No one on this planet told you that President Trump was tying aid to investigations. Yes or no? Yes. So, you really have no testimony today that ties President Trump to a scheme to withhold aid from Ukraine in exchange for these investigations? Other than my own presumption. Which is nothing. I mean, that's what I don't understand. So you know what hearsay evidence is, Ambassador? Hearsay is when I testify what someone else told me. Do you know what made-up testimony is? Made-up testimony is when I just presume it. I mean, you're just assuming all of these things, and then you're giving them the evidence that they're running out and doing press conferences, and CNN's headline is saying that you're saying the President of the United States should be impeached because he tied aid to investigations, and you don't know that, correct? I never said the President of the United States should be impeached. Nope, but you did. You have left people with the confusing impression that you were giving testimony that you did not. You do not have any evidence that the President of the United States was tied to withholding aid from Ukraine in exchange for investigations. I yield back. Well, then. This episode shows how the Democrats have exploited the Intelligence Committee for political purposes for three years, culminating in these impeachment hearings and their mania to attack the President. No conspiracy theory is too outlandish for the Democrats. Trump is a longtime Russian agent, as described in the Steele dossier. The Russians gave Trump advance access to emails stolen by the DNC and the Hillary Clinton campaign. The Trump campaign based some of its activities on these stolen documents. Trump received nefarious materials from the Russians through a Trump campaign aid. Trump laundered Russian money through real estate deals. Trump was blackmailed by Russia through his financial exposure with Deutsche Bank. Trump had a diabolical plan to build a Trump Tower in Moscow. Trump changed the Republican National Committee platform to hurt Ukraine and benefit Russia. The Russians laundered money through the NRA for the Trump campaign. Trump's son-in-law lied about his Russian contacts while obtaining his security clearance. It's a long list of charges, all false. 
thing that the Democrats have been unwilling to accept is that their operatives got campaign dirt from Ukrainians in the, t in the 2016 election. Now, they know it. They know it's true because we have financial records that show it. So they were, the Democrats were heavily involved working with Ukrainians to dirty up the Trump campaign in 2016. Then Ukrainian ambassador to the U.S. Chalet wrote an op-ed in The Hill during the 2016 presidential campaign criticizing then-candidate Trump. This is the Ukraine internal affairs minister, Avakov, mocked and disparaged then-candidate Trump on Facebook and Twitter. Were you aware that Sergei Lyshenko, a Ukrainian parliamentarian, admitted that part of his motivation in spreading the information about the so-called Black Ledger, a disputed document purporting to reveal corruption by a former Trump campaign official, was to undermine the Trump candidacy? The Black Ledger was used in the 2016 election to dirty up a campaign associate, uh, and later Mueller didn't use that as evidence in his report on election meddling. You would not be the first one to be mentioning that investigations should be done on Burisma because it happened during the Obama uh, administration. Did you know that in September 2015, then ambassador to Ukraine, Jeffrey Pyatt, publicly called for an investigation uh, into Slavisky, the president of Burisma? This was the Ukrainian ambassador appointed by President Obama in Ukraine. Did you know that financial records show Burisma routed more than $3 million to the American accounts tied to Hunter Biden? Did you know that Burisma's American lawyers tried to secure a meeting with the new state prosecutor the same day as predecessor, predecessor Victor Shokin, who the vice president wanted fired, was announced? You've testified that the White House meeting that President Zelensky desperately wanted, and that was very important to President Zelensky, was it not? Absolutely. You testified that that meeting was conditioned, was a quid pro quo for what the president wanted, these two investigations. Is that right? Correct. And that everybody knew it? Correct. Now, that White House meeting was going to be an official meeting between the two presidents, correct? Presumably. It would be an Oval Office meeting, hopefully? A working meeting, yes. A working meeting. So an official act, yeah. correct? And in order to perform that official act, Donald Trump wanted these two investigations that would help his reelection campaign, correct? I can't characterize why he wanted them. All I can tell you is this is what we heard from Mr. Giuliani. But he had, he had to get those two investigations if that official act was going to take place, correct? He had to announce the investigations. He didn't actually have to do them, as I understood it. Okay. President Zelensky had to announce the two investigations the president wanted, make a public announcement, correct? Correct. Ambassador, when did it happen? When did what happen? The announcement. When did President Zelensky announce that the investigation was going to happen? On page 14, you said this. Was there a quid pro quo? Today's op your opening statement. As I testified previously, with regard to a qu requested White House call, White House meeting, the answer is yes, that there needed to be a public statement from President Zelensky. When the chairman asked you, about the security assistance dollars. You said there needed to be a public announcement from Zelensky. So I'm asking you a simple question. When did that happen? Never did. Never did. They got the call July 25th. They got the meeting, not in the White House, but in New York on September 25th. They got the money on September 11th. When did the meeting happen again? Never did. You don't know who was in the meeting? Which meeting are you referring to? The meeting that never happened. Who was in it? <laughs> You know how people, you, you know how Zelensky <laughs> you know how Zelensky announced it? Did he tweet it? Did he do a press statement? Did he do a press conference? You know how that happened? I mean, no. you you got all three of them wrong. They get the call, they get the meeting, they get the money. It's not two plus two; it's zero for three. I mean, I, I've never seen anything like this.